I'm Amy Allen and I have been doing um, first aiding for about a year and a half now and I'm a youth cadet. This is 14 year old Amy Allen talking about training to become a first aider. She was described during the inquest as a confident and active girl. But last year, Amy died from complications following surgery at Great Ormond Street Hospital. It's just not the same now. The house is so quiet. Her little brother is just lost without her. You know, he's so used to having his big sister name. He was so bright and bubbly and such a smiley character. Her rang a lot quieter. And it's just heartbreaking how quiet the house is now. <sighs> Every day is a struggle. Every single day. That's it. To get up in the morning and... Sometimes you don't remember, it takes a minute, and other times you wake up already crying because you've remembered before you woke up. It's, it's, I can't even put it into words. My little brother is just a different boy, so quiet and devastated. We're, we're working so hard to try and make sure he'll be okay, but he's not got his sister now. You know? Amy was born with a genetic condition which caused health problems throughout her life. In September last year, she had surgery on her spine and was transferred to the hospital's paediatric intensive care unit. An expert witness told the inquest the decision to remove Amy from a ventilator hours after surgery was clinically inappropriate and had materially contributed to her death. Her family say they believe her death could have been prevented. We have been on the receiving end of a coordinated cover-up by Great Ormond Street Hospital. Having had 18 versions of the complaint response and associated emails disclosed to us, we are appalled to see the lack of openness and honesty in the hospital's response. Amy's parents say she was a bubbly teenager who had everything to live for, and they simply want the truth.